This is what it feels like to be attacked by a prehistoric monster. First, imagine a tiny prick on your arm. Annoying, but harmless, right? That's the bite of a prehistoric mosquito. Pain level one. It's nothing more than a nuisance. But this mosquito is carrying a deadly disease. And a week later, the real pain begins. Fever, chills, agony. Now, you're wading through a murky swamp. Something brushes against your leg, a log. No, it's a diplocolis, a boomerang-headed amphibian. It latches on, its tiny, sharp teeth sinking into your skin. The pain is a sudden sharp sting, like dozens of needles at once. Pain level, four. You wrench your leg free, but the bleeding won't stop. Next, you're exploring a dark cave. A shadow moves. Before you can react, a thylacolio, the marsupial lion, pounces from above. It's huge. Bolt cutter-like incisors slam into your shoulder. The force is immense, shattering bone. It's a blinding, white-hot agony. Pain level nine. It doesn't just bite. It crushes. Your world goes dark. But none of this compares to the Tyrex. You see it from a distance. A colossal figure against the horizon. The ground trembles with each step. There's no surprise attack, just pure inevitable terror. It lowers its massive head, its eyes, the size of grapefruits, locking onto yours. Its jaws, capable of exerting 12,800 pounds of force, open wide. The sound is a deafening crack as its teeth, serrated like steak knives, tear through flesh and bone. This isn't just pain, it's obliteration. A pain level of 10 doesn't even begin to describe it. It's the end of everything. And here's the twist. The most horrifying part isn't the initial bite, it's the septic shock that follows. Its mouth is a sewer of deadly bacteria. Even if you survived the attack, a slow, agonizing death from infection was almost guaranteed. These were the everyday horrors of the prehistoric world. A world where you weren't at the top of the food chain. A world where every shadow could be your last. And this was just the land. The ocean held far, far worse.